Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, my name is Maltia Wai. I go by Beauty Rebellion. And if you're not new, welcome back Rebels. Today's tutorial is going to be all about this really cute updo hairstyle that I have in nail. The wig that I'm wearing right now is from Unice Hair Company. They sent me a full lace wig. I actually wore this hairstyle for a photo shoot not too long ago and you guys were in my DMs like did you film this look please tell me you filmed this look so i decided to come back and film this look for you guys since i didn't do it the first time this is how the pictures came out shout out to my shooter my photographer crump vision but anyway guys if you're interested in seeing how i got this look just keep on watching so I already customized the wig prior to filming this video. This wig is Unice's 20 inch body wave 360 lace frontal wig, 180% density. If you plan on doing this hairstyle yourself, I suggest you take your time plucking and customizing the lace before putting it on just to ensure that you have a more seamless install. I'm starting off by applying some of my foundation to my cap. I did the ball cap method all around my head, y'all, meaning I glued the back of the cap down as well. Um, it'll just help the wig lay flatter and neater once I'm ready to put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my wig on and just try it on and make sure that the lace is looking good and it fits well and next I'm gonna take my bold hold lace glue and I'm just gonna start off by applying a little bit of that around the perimeter of the front of my wig cap and this is just the first layer we are going to add two layers of this and i'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes until it dries clear once it dries clear we're gonna go ahead and add a second layer of that bold hold lace glue on top and then we'll be ready to put our wig on This is the second layer. I'm gonna let this dry and then once that dries clear too, I'm just pulling my wig forward and placing it right over where I applied that glue at. Making sure to press that lace into the glue. So a little bit of the lace did not catch on the glue so I'm going back in with my Ebon Lace Bonding Spray and I'm just spraying that around the hairline and using my blow dryer to make sure that that is completely tacked down before we move forward. Once my lace is laying and I know that it's not going nowhere, I'm going to go ahead and put my edge band on and I'm tying it super, super tight just to make sure that that lace really melts in. 
as you can see the natural wave pattern of this hair is really really pretty i'm combing through it but we are not going to keep the natural wave pattern i'm just going to go through first and straighten the hair before we style it like right now the lace looks bomb 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 i don't know i'm feeling myself right now this hair is literally giving scalp like it's growing out of my head shout out to you nice hair company i say this in all my unice videos all my videos collaborating with you nice but they always always supply me with the best quality wigs so as you can see the hair straightened out really really well too bad we are not going to be keeping it straight guys so let's just go ahead and start styling the first thing that we're going to do is carve out that front bang part enough for that front part so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go ahead and braid this down going to go ahead and put a clip on it for now because we are going to come back to that part what you want to do now is take out your baby hairs you want to make sure that the baby hairs are out before you even do your ponytail i'm going to do one here i'm going to do one here so i'm going to take these and wrap them around that part just to get them out of the way and then i'm gonna go ahead these are a little glued down from when i sprayed down my hair but i did already customize this wig ahead of time that's why the baby hairs are already there and i definitely think that is enough and this side i think that's a little bit too much <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these back. <laughs> a few of these, that's funny. And I think that's good.
on it. I want that to dry completely. I want the back to be stuck. I did leave these pieces out as you've seen. These parts are gonna be used to help camouflage the lace in the back and also add a little, a little zhuzh to our hairstyle because we're gonna cut them and curl them and make them like some soft baby hairs in the back. So I left that out. But now it's time to start molding our ponytail. as a ponytail y'all it actually would have been really cute as a ponytail but i've been wanting to do this hairstyle again for a while so <laughs> so let's get into it but i'm really feeling it i don't know after i take this hairstyle out i might put this wig back on and do a ponytail because this already looks super cute and i'm not even done yet <laughs> all right so I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm also gonna grab some hairspray, some spritz, and I'm just gonna start spraying that on the hair and brushing my hair into a pony. gotten our wig nice and slick and I think the ponytail is exactly where we want it you want it kind of high not too low like in the middle of our head because we are going to be curling it forward so if you could bring it a little bit higher that would be perfect so go ahead and take my ponytail holder now and I'm going to put this in a ponytail as tight as I can is giving gym baddie is giving fitness gal <laughs> i don't know y'all i like doing this but anyway let's move on to this part the next part that you're going to want to do is the front so just go ahead and take that braid out in the front you're going to do is just hot comb it to the side mine is a little hot right now i mean too hot to put on the hair if you are using a stove hot comb like i do make sure not to put this on your hair too early guys or test it with a strip or a piece of paper to make sure that it's not too hot because if it is it could burn a hole in your lace and that is something that you do not what okay it's happened to me so many times um i remember while we're waiting for this to cool off i'm gonna just tell y'all a little story so i remember one time i was doing a client's wig and i accidentally burned a hole in the lace because i was trying to move too quick and trying to get it like super super flat and i burned a hole in the lace and i had to make her a whole new wig which she was happy about she was happy because she's like oh period like i get a brand new wig when she only booked for like maintenance on a wig that i previously made for her like two years ago so guys learn from my mistakes do not use your hot comb if it's too hot make sure you 
let it cool off a little bit before you put it on your hair because you don't want to burn the hair and you definitely do not want to burn a hole in your lace okay so i think it's um i think it's cooled off enough i'm just gonna go ahead and start to press this down and over so down and then over you do want to go under it as well because we want that lift Once it's nice and flat to your desired flatness, I'm going to take my comb and I'm just going to cut some layers in the front of this because we don't want it to be too long. It just looks better when it's not too long. I think that's a pretty nice length for our curl in the front. You could go a little bit shorter, but I do plan on wearing this wig again maybe in a different style so i don't want to cut it too short but i think this is a really good length what i'm going to do is just go ahead and curl this backwards finger and I'm just going to pin this up until we are done. So next we're going to start curling and pinning our ponytail. Just going to take little pieces of our ponytail and start curling it really, really tight. as if you're doing a bun you can still continue to tease some of the hair so it can give it a little bit more volume and it doesn't have to be perfect it definitely it can be messy I'm gonna leave one curl out on the side because we want it to, we want to give it a little zhush. So I'm gonna leave that curl out on the side, but I'm gonna to continue to tease and pin the rest of the curls.
it doesn't have to be perfect like i said we just want it to be we just want it to be up and at the end of the day after you take your band off you can always go back in and fix it but let's go ahead and take that band off now and see how this lace is looking <laughs> Okay. okay it's coming together it's coming together so with these pieces that we left out in the back what we're going to do is just go ahead and curl them first take my scissors and cut them down because I definitely don't want them to be that long you can put edge control on your baby hairs in the back if you want to me personally I just don't want to do that um, I don't want it like sticking to my neck if you want to you can it will make it look a little bit more uniform but guys, I promise you, after this video, I'm most likely going to take this hair out. So, I'm literally just showing you guys how to do it. This done, I'm going to go ahead and take my clip out. And this is how the curl should fall if you pinned it correctly. Take my hairspray again, and I'm going to go ahead and spray the whole thing. Especially those baby hairs in the back. We want to spray those. Make sure they are laying okay. <laughs> and this is the finished look, guys. I'm going to go ahead and change my top because I do have to get some more content. So, I will be right. Alright, guys. So, this is how the hair turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Again, all the details to this wig will be down below in my description box. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and put some feedback down below in my comment section and subscribe to my channel. I have so many surprises in store for you guys in the next couple weeks, the next couple months. So make sure you're subscribed. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Smooches.